Hello, this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV here on YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any tutorials, and as you can see here, we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial. And uh, we're using the beta version of uh, the new Photoshop 6, which I've got to say that I really enjoy. It's definitely a lot easier on the eyes, uh, especially the fact that um, the older versions are this grayish color around, and uh, you can't really change its its color borders and so this one right here comes as a default black and I like it. So anyway let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. What we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be taking um, we're going to copy information from Excel which we have right here. We're going to copy this information out of Excel and then we're going to paste it inside of Photoshop and we're going to keep its formatting as in we're going to keep the columns and the rows uh, just as they look right here. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump in on this. The first thing that we want to do here, as you can see, our cursor is running over each one of these names, and it's popping up uh, encyclopedia-titanica.org. Well, we want to get rid of the um, the URL clickable links because we don't want that because it's really annoying whenever you're trying to work inside of Excel and you got Windows popping up. So what we want to do is want to click up here, which We'll select everything go over here and uh, up underneath the uh, the editing and this little bitty uh, looks like an eraser click the drop down arrow and go to clear hyperlinks and what that would do is that it will make it so that your arrow turns into this plus sign which makes it so that there is no hyperlinks so now let's go ahead so what we want to do is that we want to hold down control on your keyboard and then uh, let me see not, not all of them. Just control and then click on each one of the items that you want to copy out. And the reason why we're doing it this way is that we want, we don't want the white down here. So we're just doing a selection of what we want. And so if you select each individual one, then it won't jump over into these other uh, cells of your table. It'll just stay here. So now just hit control C which will select just them items. Jump inside of Photoshop here. Go to File, New. And we're going to choose Clipboard, which is going to give us a height of 527 and a width of 304. We're going to click OK. And then we're just going to paste it in yonder. And there you go. This right here is exactly the way it is inside of Excel. And so if you want um, if you want to add in more uh, than just this, then uh, you can create a new doc. You uh, leave the height at the same or you can just uh, bring it down. Let's just make it an even 30. That way we can have a little bit of height on top and bottom. And let's do uh, let's say uh, 600 for its width. Let's click OK. And so here, now we're able to add in multiple ones so that if you got different uh, information inside of each column, then you'll be able to come in here and add it in like so. So that's it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick Excel into Photoshop tutorial. Just remember that whenever you're inside of Excel, uh, if you select every one of your your columns and it's got a lot of data in it it will not paste it inside of photoshop uh, there's a limit of the amount of data that you're able to paste inside of photoshop it doesn't give you an error it just doesn't do anything which is really frustrating and i fought with quite a bit yesterday trying to figure out okay how did i paste it in before and i can't do it now and then i went in yonder and i just selected just one little bitty cell and then I copied just that one cell over and it worked. And so I was like, okay, well, let me try uh, just one column. So I did one column completely and it worked like a charm. But if you was to do, let's say, the entire thing like this, and then you go to File, New, it doesn't give you the clipboard option because you've got too much data. So just remember, if you've got a lot of data that you want to bring over, then you're going to have to do them by columns, okay? And so I was able to do a um, uh, this sheet right here. 
Oh, uh, let's go over here. Yes, this sheet right here, I was able to do it by columns, which has, um, I think it's somewhere almost 1,500 uh, names is inside of this sheet right here. And so I was able to do each one of them like so. And it takes a little while to, to put it onto the clipboard and then to paste it inside of Photoshop, which I'm not going to do because as you can see, it's really bogging me down. So, but anyway, that's how you do it. Just remember, copy out only what you need and then paste it inside of Photoshop, go back, grab a hold of more, then it actually keep the formatting, which in my opinion, looks really good. It's better than just pasting the text in. Because if you paste the text in, then you lose whatever formatting that or, or column table type formatting that you had, and it's not as good. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron once again for Dark Effects TV. I hope that y'all enjoyed y'all's spring break. My son spent it with his girl and his mama out of town, left me here with some peace and quiet for a little while. Now he's back at school, so a little bit more peace and quiet until he gets home. So y'all rock it and rock it hard, and have a good one. Thank you very much.